Life used to be so beautiful, so full of magic and possibilities. I would sit for hours drawing and dreaming up crazy stories to tell all my friends. I thought my stories would inspire the world, make it a better place somehow. I was such a dreamer. And for a while, it seemed like all my dreams were coming true. Billy was my world, the man of my dreams. But how quickly dreams can be shattered. That killer didn't just take Billy's life. He took mine, too. The only thing the police knew was that the killer wore a red hoodie and left behind a mechanic's rag. They soon gave up their search, but I could never move on. What do you do when you've lost your faith, your hope, your will to go on? I used to dream of telling stories, but I never dreamed that mine would end like this. How late for a school night?
Miss Crawford? How is she? She got banged up pretty good. We're gonna keep her overnight just to be safe, but she's gonna be fine. Have you seen the family? Someone should be here any minute. The police, they're downstairs waiting for a statement. But if you got just a second, she wants to see you. Hey. She wanted to tell you something. No, no, no. Don't wake her. She gonna be mad if she don't get to see you. Coming tomorrow? I don't know. I think so. How I know you're not playing? Samantha Crawford. Sam. You can call me Sam. What's your name? I'm making. And you just made me a promise. Well, I guess I did. So she's okay. She's gonna be fine. She's all right. You a relative or? I, I help look after her. Miss Evans is on her way up now. What's your name, honey? Joe. Joe Bradford. Joe? Joe Bradford? Yes. It's Sam. Samantha Thomas. Sam? Have you been, girl? I can't believe this. What are you doing here? What, are you okay? I'm fine. I, this is the young lady that brought the children up here. You have got to be kidding me of all the people. This kid's yours? Well, well now that's complicated. I take it you two know each other? This was my best friend when we were kids. Oh, come here, girl. Station three. Yes, sir. She's right here. Hold on. Is it 20 years? Excuse me. You have a very impatient detective waiting for you downstairs. Okay, okay. You, you got a card or something to say? You have a found one. It's Tedra Tad, yes, sir. Okay. She's headed your way. You come see me. We got a lot of catching up to do. It's good to see you, Joe. You too. Come see me now. I will. Everyone! This is Joe Bradford. His grandmother is the new janitor. Let's all make him feel welcome. Run along and find a seat. Seat's taken. What you got? Got something to trade? You like Jello? Yep. How about my Jello for your potato chips? Okay. And uh, maybe we can trade again tomorrow? Okay, it's a deal. Friend, why don't you make her tell you, Coon? I'm gonna tell you this once. And I'm gonna talk real slow so you can understand me. 
It'll be a cold day in Jamaica for some... <laughs> Get my tater chips. How's my girl? Train stay today, huh? Hey, cowboy. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> you make it by the bank for me today? I sure did. Good. Because I just ran out. You are finally going to write that thing. This will be your best ever. All right. So, where are they at? Where's what at? My $2 bills, my Jefferson's. I put them in the coffee mug cabinet. The coffee mug cabinet? Now, why would you go and put them in the coffee mug cabinet? Huh? That's right. Over here. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it. <laughs>
broke your promise. What? And you owe me a quarter. No. No, I'm still coming up there. Too late. They sent us home. Home? Yeah. And you just made a big, fat lie out of me. So I told Keisha he was coming to see her. Looked her in the eye. <laughs> Megan, I'm so sorry. <sighs> so, I guess this is goodbye. No, Megan, hold on a second. I was just on my way to get something special for Keisha. Something special? Absolutely. What you got? Some candy? Sure, what kind does she like? Bring her some M&M's. I love, I mean, she loves them things. And pizza. Bring her some pizza. Ham and mushrooms. Okay. What's your address? Told you. Nice to see you, too. Mind your manners. Hey. Yeah. Hi, Keisha. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sam. Keisha, you better get over here if you want any of this. Well, you act like you ain't never seen no candy before. Name's Maddie. It's a good thing what you've done for my babies. Well, anybody would have done it. Oh, no, they wouldn't. Hey, T, got a light? Mm. Can I go hang with you a while? Leave that man alone, boy. Can I, T? Whatever. Oh. How far does that road go? Mm, four more streets and a dead end. Help you find something? I passed by this address on my way to see you. I think it's my friend's house, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you're here. Your friend Joe Breath. Yes, ma'am. Well, you in luck. Because that's where he lived. Welcome to the projects, honey. Thank you. You said you might be stopping by. I'm Denise. I work with him. Hi. I'm Sam. Well, I know who you are. Tell me all about you. Come on in. Just make yourself at home. I knew you'd come. Hey. I need your help with something. I bet I know what you're thinking. 
How in the world did I end up here? I'm just glad to see you, Joe. Give it up. Hello. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. We need to smell it. Yeah. We need to smell it. Yeah. We need to drink it. Yeah. We break it down. Yeah. Don't stop me. 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 Yeah. Today. Go no, ma'am. Go Go uh, I will. Go I will. Yeah. I mean, I saw in your card, like a children's author or something. Like that. No, I stopped writing a couple of years back. What's up, Bernard? I'm thirsty, Papa Joe. Mm. All right, I got you, big man. Let's go. A lot of catching up to do. Yeah, we do. Hey, Denise. Yeah? Tell Joe I'll be right back. Okay, baby. Oh, please sit. Detective. So, what were you doing down there? I was checking on a couple kids that I'd help get to the ER. Oh, yeah, yeah, the hit and run. Girl from the projects. I heard about that. While I was in the commons, I saw a guy that matched a description of Billy's killer. He had a red hoodie, and he was a mechanic. You a detective now? You do understand that we question every mechanic and chop shop operator in a five-mile grid? Here's a news flash for you. All the bangers wear red down there. You're grasping at straws, Miss Crawford. Look, I, I'm no racist, but I am a realist. This is the commons. 
They'd throw a party if a boy makes his 21st birthday because he's defying the odds. Did you ever play with pit bull pups? So cute, cuddly. Then they grow up. They become what nature intended them to be. They can't help it. I think about those kids you picked up and I wonder what they might become. You might take solace in this thought. The man that killed your husband's probably already dead. Thank you, detective. Started your new book? Oh, no. It's just an idea. It's nowhere near ready. Well, I would love to hear. I'll be nice. Come on. All right. But it's rough. Once upon a time, there lived a little oriole named Firebird. A firebird just lived for the sunshine. He would bask in that glow for hours. But when the rains would come, he would complain to his mama. He wanted to know why God gave the storms power to take away the sun. And his mama would just smile at him and say, you'll know someday when you take a walk on the clouds. Now, over and over again, the rains would come, and over and over again, little Firebird would complain to his mama until one day, a huge storm rolled in. And his mama had a different answer. She said, it's up there waiting for you. You just have to see it for yourself. That little Firebird was scared. He hadn't used his wings much at all. He went up into the great unknown. But instead of answers, he was met with lightning and thunder and a howling wind. He feared it would rip him apart. He was about to turn back when it happened. He broke through the clouds. And there it was. More beautiful than ever. And in that moment, it all became clear. No storm could take the sun away. The sun was always shining. It was as constant as his mother's love. He just needed to take a walk on the clouds. Is it? No, 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 no. 
Excellent work this time around, guys. I'm really, really proud of you. I will be posting your names in the comments so everybody can see how wonderful you all are. First up, a man who flat out rocked it, who came up in four classes. Snuffy! Yeah. Good job, good job. Bernard, Peach, Chloe, Keisha, Trent, and Willis. Excellent work. You owe me some of that. Oh, really? Enlighten me. Five A's, baby. Is that right? Yes, sir. Hmm. You never saw any proof, Einstein. Because I don't want my name up on that board. Hmm. And why is that? Got my reasons. Well, I'm sure you do. But until I see that card and you let me post your name, I'm going to assume you're doing what you do best, which is running a hustle on me. I ain't hustling you, man. Then bring me that card, player. You show me what you made of. This is stupid. Well, well. She lives. Y'all got time for a quick story? Yeah! That woman back there, she saved my life once. Y'all want to hear about it? Thought so. Hi you scared away my bird friend. He was the main character in my new story. See? Oh yeah? What's this one about? About this little bird who finds out God even cares about sparrows. Then he's happy. Why you always mess with all that jaw in the store stuff? Why you always wearing your pajamas in public? For the last time, these are not pajamas, all right? <laughs> Come on. Where are we going? Someplace special. You'll see. What's all this? This? It's my training ground. I am going to be a samurai warrior. Uh, Joe, I don't think that there are any... I know, I know. There ain't no black samurais. I am one of a kind. <laughs> Dang. <sighs> gonna train hard. I'm gonna fight hard. I'm gonna save the world. I'm gonna be big, Sam. Huge. Fighting stories is still cooler. <sighs> Whatever. Ain't busting up Jimmy Landry's base good enough for you? Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Stay back, Sam. I, I got this. Joe! No, baby. He ain't gonna be able to make it. Grandma? Yes, sir? How come my dad don't buy me? Well, ain't you just a pretty thing? You got a visitor, Joe? Come on over here, miss. Who are you? Made you something. Sam Rachel. 
that's what I'm talking about. I was thinking, you can survive a snake bite. You can survive just about anything. I mean, you're invincible and you're strong enough to make it on your own. Ain't nobody that strong, baby. And you ain't got to be. Because you're never on your own, child. You're never alone. Truth is, I would have died that night if Miss Sam hadn't been there with me. How many of y'all coming up without a father? I know it's tough sometimes. But one thing my grandma told me that day was that sometimes life can be cruel. Sometimes life can make you sad or angry. Maybe even want to hurt somebody. But no matter how hard life gets, you're never alone. I got some good news and some bad news. What do y'all want to hear first? Bad news first! OK. Bad news is food truck It's not coming tomorrow. The good news is it already came! How are you doing on this show? It's amazing what happens when you just ask. Truth is, my neighbor Denise came up with this whole thing. I'm just. Just doing my part. Hey, I'm, so, I'm sorry I disappeared on you. How come she doesn't talk? She used to. She's been through quite a lot. She wants you to come along. So where's it at? Where's what at? You still owe me a quarter. Are you serious? Oh, that is an amazing drawing. Did you do that? Wow. We have a little artist here. Always draw them dumb things. She ain't never even seen a room before. There's nothing dumb about a horse now. They're the most amazing animals on Earth. That one looks just like mine, Cricket. Stupid waste of time, if you ask me. Well, nobody asked you, did they? I think it's beautiful. Don't think that's a good idea. She wants you to come inside. So she can show you her room. I think you should ask your grandma first. I'll wait here. She gonna say no. She don't like white people in her house. <gasps> no, I'm just playing. I'll go see.
Mike and I told you not to come into my house. What? We gonna have to have a talk, boy. Come on. Come on with me. Hold up a sec. What were you just doing? You were in T's house. Oh, man. And you gave away our food? I'll get you back. Just keep walking. Nah, man. I want to know. What were you just doing? Nothing. You had some. You the popo. Nope. FBI. This is ridiculous. I'm just a friend of Joe's. Nah, I'm not buying that. Give it to me straight, or I'm telling Joe you up to something. All right. I'll play along. Name your price. What? I've seen how you play. You want something from me? Then name your price. Double was in the grocery bag. A case of Coke, three bags of Snickers, and a roll of quarters. Is that all, Macon? The horse! And you better take Keisha to see that horse. And I swear, if you do one more crazy thing, I'm telling Joe. And I can promise you that. Oh, you made a promise. Come on. I'll be fine. I'll see you soon. Miller, this is Samantha Crawford. I need you to run a name for me, Anthony Jones. I know you think I'm crazy, but just run the name and call me back. Is that true? About the horse and the farm? Oh. Absolutely. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Out of the graciousness of her heart, Miss Sam has invited all of us on a field trip to her farm. Yeah! It's looking better and I'm loving the weather Things are coming together Now I'm smiling again Hope is the reason There's a change in the seasons And if we keep believing We'll be smiling again It's the first day of the last day's How's everybody doing back there? A special gift, don't you? Would you like to know what it is? You can tell them all your secrets and they'll always keep them safe. Cricket knows all of mine. The happy ones, the sad ones. And she's never told a soul. You can tell her anything and it'll always be safe.
Now what you want to do is... Nah, I got this. Say this on TV a million times. See, all you need to do is grab one of these things and pull. I'm sorry. Miss Sam's right, y'all. This is uh, real special stuff right here. <laughs> this girl's country music helped save my life once. Say what? That's right, back when I was in prison. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to hear about this. Y'all don't want to hear about that. Yes, we would. Well, no. The first thing you learn in prison is to always mind your own business. Keep on walking, young buck. No, sir, I think I'll be fine just right here. You got rules here. That's why you gotta move it. Now scat before I get angry. You gonna eat that cornbread? <laughs> Take a walk, old man. You talking to me, Tubby? Yes, sir, I was just leaving. You're new here, so I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Stay with your own kind of sheep. My Big Mac will have to put his hands on somebody. I can't listen to this trash no more. I mean, can a brother get some R E S P E C T up in here, son? Yeah. Shut up, mom. Hey. You missed a spot. I can't take this. I can't take this. Take that, crackers. What? <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna do, man? If we live through this, remind me to kill you later. Yeah. Well, there's just something about the way it's looking around here. 
This old place ain't what it used to be. So I'll pack up my guitar. Won't you forgive me, sweetheart? Won't be hearing nothing more from me. Know any Hank Williams? <laughs> know them all. Which one are we doing? All right, ladies, that's enough. Back in your cells. Country it was all Sam and most of my other friends used to listen to. I mean, I must have heard that tune a thousand times. You want to think about it? Miss Sam done saved my life twice now. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, we about to blow it up now. Oh, man. Y'all ready for this? So you ran the name? Didn't have to. Your boy was one of our original suspects, but he has an alibi. He was with his cousin. That night. But I'm telling you, I saw. I, I don't really care what you saw, Miss Crawford. I care about evidence. Unfortunately, I can't make arrests based on your gut feelings. <sighs> Just stay out of the comments. Nothing good is going to come out of whatever it is you're doing down there. <laughs> don't call me about this again. Can you hear me? You're on your own. tonight. I'm still not certain how a children's author receives such a prestigious award for giving away a few books. Everyone here seeks to make a difference in this world. My husband Billy would have been right at home with all of you. Tonight, I'd like to share Billy's idea about changing the world with love. <laughs> the two dollar bill. It came to be Billy's symbol of love. There are millions in print, more than enough to go around, but they're hardly ever seen. People hoard them or they hide them away. Billy would always say, there's enough love to go around, you just gotta share it. And he got this crazy idea and he started giving away $2 bills to perfect strangers. It was his way of... I'm so sorry, thank you. So this is where you hide out? Wow. What is all this? This is my life. All these yours? Yeah. Hey, there's that little bird you were always drawing. Did you write that book? No, I gave up on it. Why? Didn't believe in it anymore. Why? 
What happened, Sam? Where's that hopeful little girl I used to know? <laughs> she died. Let's go. Hey, old man. <laughs> hey. You do your dialysis today? No. I will. I promise. Me and Brick got the kids tonight. She needs you. But you owe me one. Oh, you? What you mean? Like what? I don't know. I'm sure you think of something. Hey. How about some real dancing? Hold on, woman. You know, you can't deny these moves, you know? <laughs> oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Go on. I'll see you. See ya. Hey, Sam, wait up, now. Okay, baby girl, go get it, and I'll wait right here for you. Sounds like a wonderful man. So why'd he pick you? <laughs> you changed a lot yourself. Yeah? Yeah, I have. Joe, what's going on? Both my kidneys shut down a few years back. Yeah, yeah, permanent disability. Then I basically went from prison to the projects. How long were you in there? They gave me eight years, stealing 200 bucks. Eight years? Wanted to prove I was worth something. You know, always did. You know, wanted to show my daddy he was wrong for walking out on us, that I was somebody. You know, Sam, I graduated top of my class in college. Computer engineer. Had a nice job lined up with IBM, too. So then what happened? Well, me and some friends had gotten into hacking. Right before graduation, someone bet me I couldn't hack into a bank. I swear, sometimes it's the best you win and end up costing you the most. It was my pride that took me down. Worked out for good, because prison is where I had the most powerful realization of my life.
just looking for Joe. I got something for you. Give me that hand. No! No, no! Ah! That's right, that's right. And your brothers over there you know you crossed the line. That's why they staying out of this. It's just you and me now. You let him go. When I let him go, and how I let him go, it's up to you now. It's easy. All I want you to do is to step up and spit in this cracker's face. I mean, that's what they've been doing to us for 400 years, my brother. No. Boy, you step up and spit in this cracker's face. I'll take a butt more out of him. Go ahead. It's okay. You best be letting him go now. Get him over here. Come on, man! Yeah, do it, do it, do it! about to kill and in that moment I saw it so clearly how far my anger and my pride had taken me how far I had fallen I got 40 days and 40 nights in solitary I had no one else to talk to so I talked to God it was in that darkness in the loneliest place of all that I felt his love for the first time in my life I've never been the same since. I feel that love every day I'm with those kids. I look into their eyes and I know, I know that there's something worth fighting for. Oh, hey Sam. I think I could use your help. This child is an angel. <laughs> Their mama got caught up in the wrong crowd. One night when Macon was out with a friend, a man broke into the house. Keisha hid in the cabinet while her mama was murdered. Oh, that monster set the whole place on fire. Thankfully, somebody heard Keisha screaming and ran into that apartment and saved her life, but she never spoke again. You saved her. 
You did. Me? Oh, Samurai Joe. No. No, it was another guy. His name was Anthony Jones. The kids didn't have nowhere to go, no relatives, so his neighbor Maddie took him in. Joe, my husband was murdered in your neighborhood behind Murphy's. It's why I was in the commons when Keisha got hit. That's where I was. I thought I had found the man who killed him, but I guess it was just a dead end road. Been down a few of those myself. The one thing I learned along the way is that it ain't a dead end if it takes you somewhere you needed to go. Dr. Reeves, I wanted to give you an update on Mr. Bradford. Is he okay? His body has rejected dialysis. If he doesn't receive a transplant soon, I'm afraid we might lose him. But the moment a kidney is available, it's on its way here. How long is that going to take? There's no way to know, but we need it to happen soon. And then he'll make it through, right? We're doing all we can. He's awake. If you want to see him. I heard him talking. They don't think I'll survive the surgery. They think this might be it. <laughs> you have time for a story? Well, I sure hope so. a little boy 
who lived in a small village. And he knew he was destined to become a great warrior. But no one else in his village believed him. Not even his best friend. A <laughs> time passed. And the little boy and his best friend, they grew up. And they grew apart. And like so many of us in life, they lost their way. It would be many years before Providence would unite them once again. But when his friend beheld him at last, she couldn't believe her eyes for standing in front of her was one of the strongest, most noble, most courageous men she had ever known. Mighty warrior. You had a good time out there now, did you? Yes, ma'am. Joe's in the hospital. I heard that. I need some bus money. Got some business with her. You know, there'd be a shortage of good men in this world, Macon. It's like the Earth only allows so many of them be at a time. Now, Joe, he's a good man. Probably why he's dying. It ain't fair. That's just the way life is. There ain't nothing in the world you can do about it. Nothing. I wish you'd leave that man die in peace, child. Lord, no, he needs some. If you just have to go, there's some extra change of him a top draw. Thank you, Mac. Thank you. I need to tell you something. My poor kitchen got hit. I was doing some stuff and we got caught. We was running. She. She. Oh, okay. I'm glad you told me. I'm glad you told me. Look at that. boys at school. They say it's stupid to try hard in class. It ain't cool. You are the definition of cool, my man. You are one of the smartest and most gifted young men I've ever met. This is nothing to be ashamed of, and I'm proud of you. favor if you can do it I do my best 
Would you... Would you be my dad? Thanks for bringing him back. How is he? There's a small chance with the transplant. I don't know what happened out there or what you've done, but... She did? Is that a fact? I sure... Sure we will. She want me to tell you thanks. Thanks for having her out to the farm. Now look what you've done to me. I told the Lord that I would stop drinking if my baby ever talked again. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you want to come inside? I'd love to. Squeeze my hand when you want me to open my eyes. <sighs> oh, that's us. It's beautiful. I love it. Look at all this. all this? Where did you see this? Keisha, please, baby, tell me where you saw this. Keisha, please. Where did she see this? Did somebody show this to her? Megan! It was T. He showed him one day. Said it was the only thing he could draw good. Baby, what has gotten into you? I have to go.
Who are you? I'm Samantha Crawford. You killed my husband. How'd you find me? Don't! You don't want to do that now. You need to hear what I got to say to you. Because your husband, he... He wanted me to tell you something. I know you're not going to believe me. But I need you to try. You already know that I was there. It's a transformer. I appreciate it. You got some coffee on? Ain't nothing to make you, son. Uh huh. Hey, you live around here. You need a ride? Heading over to my cousin when the rain lets up. Could be a while. I get you some. No, man. No. And it hadn't been five minutes, and he was back out the door with a sandwich and some coffee. He sat with me for an hour in that rain, and we talked. We talked about a lot of things. But his truck wouldn't start, and I helped him fix it, though, because I've always been good with cars. He told me he wanted to see me again and said he'd be back the next day. And then I watched him go. I appreciate it. Hey, no, I, I would. Be safe, OK? Thanks again, man. Have a good one. All right. his eyes, he told me something. He said, tell Sam, always walk on the clouds. I knew they blamed me, so I ran. But since that day, I ain't never been the same because of you. Yes, ma'am. Sam, you'll never know what it's meant to me seeing your face again. That loving little red-headed girl who welcomed a stranger as a friend. It's been hard to see those once hopeful eyes now only carrying the pain of a shattered life. Well, I know those eyes all too well. 
but with pain comes a new way of seeing things. You see, here at the edge of death, I've never felt more alive. I know that I've done what I was created to do, to love these kids. I knew Denise couldn't do it alone, and then you came along. Well, maybe these kids can help you find your way again, Sam, like they did me. Heard what happened to your husband. I'm so sorry, child. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Oh, you no know, trouble, baby. You family. Remember that story you wrote about God and the sparrow? I heard you say you didn't believe it anymore, and that's okay. He's patient. I'm proof of that. Whatever happens, I have peace, and I only want the same for you. Find your stride, Sam. Share your stories. They matter. Live. Breathe. And find a way to believe again. is so beautiful, so full of magic and possibilities. I thought that my story had come to an end, but I was wrong. Once upon a time, there lived a little baby Oriole bird. His mama called him Firebird on account of his amazingly beautiful orange feathers. Now little Firebird, he does live for the sunshine. He's a bask in that sunshine for hours. <laughs> Very good. Joe helped me find something that I had lost along the way. Something I had once believed so strongly. That the storms of life are bound to come. But that maybe even in those storms, in the loneliest times of all, you're never really alone. Love is the most powerful thing on earth. I've seen what it can do. And it can do amazing things. Sometimes I imagine a world where everyone knows a love that's unconditional. And what a beautiful world it is. I think Billy had it right. That there truly is enough love to go around. All you have to do is share it. God's love is like the sun, constant and unchanging. What if you woke up one day and realized nothing can take that away? Hey, this is Joe Bradford. You can make a difference in the life of a hurting child. There are many organizations all across the country dedicated to helping at-risk kids, but they need your help. Please take a moment to visit the act page at unconditionalthemovie.com to find out how you can bring hope and change into the lives of these children because every child deserves unconditional love.